Inflatable space stations. Hear me out. Traditional metallic space stations have a size limit. Basically, how much can you stuff into a rocket and how many rockets do you want to launch? The ISS required over 40 launches to assemble. But what if we could get that amount of space or bigger in one rocket launch? Basically, you build a giant balloon, squish it all down into a rocket, and then inflate it once it gets to space. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's no way this can be safe, won't it? pop on orbit? And also, what about those micrometeoroids or space debris impacts? First of all, if you are thinking about all of that, might I suggest a career in the space industry? And second, inflatable space station materials are actually stronger than steel. And because they use many different layers of bulletproof materials like Kevlar or Vectrin, they're effectively much more impact resistant. This tech isn't new. It's actually been around for quite some time. In fact, there is an inflatable module on the International Space Station. Granted, it was an experiment. It launched in 2016, but it's still up there and is used for cargo storage. But lately, a lot more companies have been getting into this sphere. Sierra Space, Lockheed Martin, and a new company called Max Space, which just today announced their plans to get into the post-ISS commercial space station race. Alongside metallic space stations being built by Vast, Axiom, Voyager, and Blue Origin, which either require multiple launches to build or the big boy Starship. Part of the extensive work that has gone into inflatable tech is quite frankly blowing shit up, which sounds like the best job ever. They overpressurize the inflatable modules to several times what they would ever experience to test their limits and verify that these are in fact extremely safe. 